Huh? Uh, I'm fine. That earthquake knocked everything over. We're here to help! Bahoy, <laughs> hurry up! Thanks a lot, you guys. I've never felt an earthquake like that. Well, yeah, it's all the bees' fault. Bees? You don't know? Well, my father said a long, long time ago, there was a very naughty bee. It wanted to sting the great underground carp. The great carp twisted around in fear, trying to drive the bee away. The great carp twisted with such great force that the earth quaked. This earthquake was so big, it was definitely a large bee stirring up some trouble. Huh? Huh? Nai Nai, what are you doing here? How come a bee appeared after we mentioned bees? Quick, catch the bee and there won't be another earthquake! Ow! No need to chase it. Huh? I think when the Atayal people say that the underground carp is twisting around, it's referring to the movement of the tectonic plates. Movement of tectonic, tectonic plates? plates? Where we live is just one small point on the Earth. The ground beneath our feet is only the outermost layer, the Earth's crust. There are many other layers making up the Earth, like the mantle and the core. The asthenosphere is in the upper part of the mantle. And floating on the asthenosphere are many pieces of huge tectonic plates, just like what Bohoi mentioned, the great carp of the tile myths. The great carp swimming under the surface of the Earth are really tectonic plates, floating on the asthenosphere and moving along it. Sometimes the plates press against each other with great force making mountains grow taller or even shift position. They even cause landslides. So that's how it works. Ah, uh, talking about carp really makes me want to eat some fish. You greedy little devil. Then let's go fishing together. Yay! <laughs>